G'day guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at this little fan here from GT Power. As you can see it's called the Jet Fan. And uh, this is not only good for just RC, the hobby in general, but uh, there's many different uses that we can use this for, for everyday use. So um, I'm going to have a quick look at it today guys. As always, I'll put a link to the GT Power website in the description below and any other websites where you can find this uh, GT Power Jet Fan. I'm pretty sure I've seen it advertise on aliexpress a few vendors sell it on there so those links will be in the description below. like i just said uh there's many different uses for this fan not just for rc and cleaning your rc trucks after you take them bashing but uh as you can see here there's this brochure that gt power sent me you can actually use it in summer as a portable fan to keep yourself cool okay obviously it can be used for your rc trucks and cars after you take them bashing off-road and it's saying here strong wind fast dusting capabilities it says here it can be used for outdoor cooling keyboard de-dusting mat de-dusting etc real good helper for camping outdoor and indoor cooling and cleaning and this does show that it's got a 1100 milliamp hour lithium battery which can last up to four hours they're saying so that's uh it's quite good for such a small battery there's four different uh, actual speed settings for the fan all right obviously it's compact as well fits in your pocket and it comes in a different range of colors there's all the colors there guys you got red orange green blue purple like a gunmetal gray and a black now i've got a black one in the box that they sent me and here's some other uses that they've got advertised here you can blow up air mattresses rather quickly you can dust down your workbench or workspace in the workplace even use it to dust down your engine bay in your car start fires easily by uh, fanning those flames and blowing up balloons rather quickly rather than getting exhausted by doing it uh, manually with your own breath so anyway let's uh get into this box guys all right and uh have a look at this uh gt power fans here is the instruction leaflet all right, this just folds out everything you need to know about the fan it goes through the different modes there with the corresponding led lights okay it's even got a little headlight function as well it says something about intelligent protection the product will auto power off if there's no operation within five minutes of standby mode so that's pretty good it will turn off you won't flatten the battery if you just lay it down on the bench or wherever you you know rc uh you forget about turning off manually it'll turn off automatically that's pretty decent and there's a service card here on the back now we also got a box here i'll just stand that up okay let's have a look what's in this box i'll just open it up we should have the charging cable okay so we got the little nozzle to screw on to the fan itself got a little lanyard here just in case you want to uh, attach that to the fan and of course we have the I think it's a c-type cable yeah so we've got the USB type A to c-type so it should charge up rather quickly using c-type I'm glad that they went with a c-type charger cable there all right so here is the unit itself guys and it's got some decent weight to it so it is of decent quality it's not cheap and chintzy um, like I said, you can get it in all different colors, all those anodized colors. There's a turbine there. It's metal, not plastic. You've got a bit of mesh there too. Make sure no uh, dust and debris get into the fan. Got the GT Power Insignia logo there on both sides. All right. There is the button for the different modes. And down here on the bottom of the blower fan, we've got our charging port, C-type charger. It looks like the two little LED lights that they're talking about. So let's just turn that on. There you go, there's the power button in the middle. We'll just turn it on and we're in speed four, okay? And turn it on, just press that button. Okay, so that was speed four. Quickly press it, just one quick tap and we're in speed three. You just have to hold that button, guys. As you let go, it'll turn off. Speed two. Yeah. 
gone down in speed and there's the main you can hardly hear it all right okay so let's put that nozzle on okay that's not on tight put back on speed four it's pretty powerful guys so yeah my bench is pretty clean as you can see at the moment it will definitely come in handy for uh, cleaning the bench and uh, RCs. I'll just try to see if I've got a dirty RC. I just took one out the other day, bashing, and uh, I'll see if there's any dirt or debris, and then uh, I'll test it out on that, see if we can uh, clean something up with it. All right, guys, well, this is a truck that I bashed the other day, and it was relatively clean, but I've just gone into the garden, just grabbed some dead grass, and threw a bit of sand here and there just to simulate a dirty RC. Okay, that's the best I can do. All my RCs are already clean, so uh, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, I've got it set to the highest speed, speed four. I'm just going to blow this down. So as you can see, not a problem. quickly and there you have it guys perfectly clean RC so it definitely has its use I'll be bringing this in the car with me in my uh, toolbox and I'll definitely be blowing down all my cars after I take them bashing and reviewing and just yeah definitely gonna be using this all the time now even for my workbench uh, once it gets a bit dusty and dirty, I'll just blow the workbench down. I usually use a dustpan or brush, sometimes a vacuum, but with this little device, definitely be using that. It'll be an easy and quick way to actually uh, clean off the workbench there while I'm making videos. So just notice this part of the user manual here, it tells you the power indicator light mode. So we've got this uh, light on the bottom here, as you can see try getting shot see how it's flashing slowly okay so what that actually means if I refer to the manual again it says here green light flashes slowly means it's got a medium level of battery charge left in it if it flashes moderately means it's going to low battery green light flashes quickly battery is nearly about to run out okay and obviously it goes red once it needs charging. Charging complete is basically a solid green light and fully charged as well. So I just thought I'll mention that. I was wondering what this uh, flashing green light meant and that's exactly what it means. It means I have to charge it up even though it's got some charge in it. Now the LED light, you, all you do is hold the power button down for a few seconds and you have a really bright double LED light there. Not too bad. There you go. Definitely be good for use at night, for sure. Hold it down. Should turn it off. Yep. Hold down for about three to five seconds and it turns off. And then after that, just hold it down a couple of seconds and you turn the unit off. Okay, so I got my power adapter there. Charge it up. As you can see, a red glowing LED while it's charging. All right. Obviously that's gonna turn solid green when it's fully charged. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this quick uh, demonstration and review of the GT Power Jet Fam. Awesome product guys. I'm definitely gonna use this and leave it in my toolbox in my car when I go out bashing. I'm just gonna leave this charging for now. Might as well leave it on there and have it fully charged for the next time I go and use it. But uh, yeah guys, I'll leave a link, like I said, at the start of the video the GT Power website as well as AliExpress links because I'm pretty sure I've seen it on there. I'll leave a couple of vendor links below and you can check it out for yourself. Great quality product from GT Power once again. It's not cheap and chintzy and made out of plastic. It's made out of all metal. Yeah guys, great product. Uh, if you want to see more GT Power uh, products that I've reviewed on the channel over the past couple of years, I'll leave this video in the playlist. I've got quite a few GT Power videos from sound kits, you know, Bluetooth sound kits and lighting systems for your RC cars and crawlers, as well as a whole heap of hobby grade chargers 
from GT Power. So, so yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned to the channel. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Um, this will be coming up shortly on the channel. This is a new S188 GPS drone that came in from Banggood, as well as this little crossy 116 scale truck here from Volantex RC. Purchased this on eBay for only $38 Australian, guys. And as you probably noticed, it looks a bit like a HBX 16889. Well, in fact, it's pretty much a rebrand. But uh, for the price, I thought I'll pick one up from eBay Australia, and I'm gonna do a review on that one soon. So thanks very much for watching as always, and I uh, hope this video is informative. Uh, great product here from GT Power. Definitely gonna use it a lot, not only on the workspace here, but mainly when I go batching my RCs. Rather than have a dirty RC put in the back of the car, I'll blow them down and then uh, that way everything stays relatively clean. So anyway guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Until next time, always enjoy the hobby and always have fun. And I'll see you on the next one. Serving up the fix. Mods reviews, they got the whole crew. Flipping RC car, showing what they do. Fly the skies, zip through the breeze. Pure West OC, RC bringing you your knees. Subscribe and like.